So in this video, I want to talk about how to use the Marantz microphone uh, that connects to the XC15 via the 3.5 millimeter microphone jack on the side of the camera to capture audio. We're going to talk about the functions of the microphone, and then we're going to talk about the functions on the XC15 and how we get good quality sound uh, out of uh, this microphone. So as you can see on the overhead uh, camera here, we've got the Marantz microphone. It should look pretty familiar to you. Uh, you've seen it before. Uh, in this case, I have it attached to a little mini tripod because uh, we're going to use it uh, for, to check audio. Right now, it's not connected to a camera. So I want to draw your attention to some of these functions, these controls that are present on the side of the microphone. Now, the microphone should come with a windscreen that pops on the front of the of the mic. Uh, the purpose of the windscreen, the foam sort of this foam sort of cap is to disrupt wind that's coming across the capsule and break it up. It will it eliminate the sound of wind. No, but it will prevent the wind from interacting directly onto the capsule and distorting the sound. Um, it's not a fix all, but it, it's a help. So right now it's not on the camera. It's off to the side. So we've got three switches on the side of the camera. The first is the on off switch. Now, because the Marantz microphone is a condenser microphone and it requires power, uh, it houses AAA batteries that are inside the body here as described in the, um, in the introduction video for this microphone. Um, this switch turns the power to the microphone on and off. Um, the problem with this, without knowing this, is that if you return the microphone switched on, the battery will drain and it will die. So you may get a, a mic from the CER that has a dead battery in it. You should always check. You should always put a fresh battery in it. You should always turn the switch to the off position when you're not using the microphone. If you have the switch off, you'll have no sound because as a condenser mic requires power, phantom power from uh, some power source. In some cases, you can obtain phantom power directly from a camera. In the case of this, Phantom power cannot be delivered to the microphone over this 3.5 millimeter jack. It has to be delivered over XLR or audio microphone cable. So you need batteries in this camera in order to get it to function. So we'll move it to the on position. You'll see the light, the LED will flash saying that indicating that the battery is, uh, is there and it's on. In the middle here, we have this switch that has a line on the left-hand side, it has a straight line. On the right-hand side, it has sort of a bent line at the end. This switch is referred to as a low-cut filter. What it does, essentially, is it takes lower-frequency sounds and turns the volume down on those low-frequency sounds. Now, why would you want this? One of the reasons, one of the sounds that you would commonly consider a low frequency sound in production would be rumble, like a low frequency, low pitch rumbling sound, similar to the sound that you might hear when you're handling the camera or moving it around, that sort of rumbling sound. So if you were to activate the low cut filter, it will turn the volume down on those low frequency sounds and it will help not eliminate, but it will assist in lowering the volume of low end rumble noises, particularly camera handling noises. Um, it's not going to be a fix all. It's just an assist. Uh, nothing is going to be as helpful as having a steady hand when you're shooting. Um, if you were using the microphone on a little tripod, like I have set up here, you might want to have the low cut filter turned off because you're not handling the microphone. If it's just sitting on the table, and it's not going to get rumbled. It's not going to get bumped around. You don't need the low cut filter. Um, the third switch, which is right here, is referred to as a is a ten decibel pad. Now, if you are in a very noisy environment, like at a concert or in a nightclub or somewhere that where's a lot of people, a lot of sound, 
and it was very difficult for you to get decent audio without distortion, you might want to figure out a way to lower the intensity of the audio that's coming into the microphone before it even gets to the camera. That's where this switch comes in. It lowers by clicking it to the right. It lowers the volume of the sound that's coming through the microphone by 10 decibels. Now, with cameras like the XC15, typically the preamp, meaning the connection that takes the audio in through that little three and a half millimeter jack, has a tendency to be a little noisy. So if you turn this pad, this, this 10 dB pad on, it'll lower that volume. And in order to compensate, you'll wind up having to turn the volume up in the camera and that could raise the noise floor or the hiss that's audible in your audio. So we generally don't want to use this unless we are shooting in an environment that is really, really, really loud and is overwhelming the capsule of the microphone. And if you are in an environment that's really, really, really loud at a very loud party or in a concert or at a protest or a rally or with anything where there's lots and lots of noise, the volume that the, the actual amount of volume that's going into the mic could actually overwhelm the capsule of the microphone and distort. And in that case, you would use the pad. But under most circumstances, you will keep that off. So to recap power switch you needs to be on with a battery in the mic to get sound your low cut filter if by turning it on it lowers the volume of rumble sounds low frequency rumble sounds that can wind up in your audio you need to decide whether you're going to use it or not if you're hand holding the camera probably turn it on the 10 db pad is a it cuts the volume coming into the microphone by 10 decibels only use this if you are working in a very loud environment where the volume of the sound in the environment is likely to overwhelm the capsule of the microphone. Otherwise, leave it off. So this is uh, the portion, this video represents a description of the functions of this microphone. And in the next video, we're gonna talk about connecting this microphone to the XC15 and achieving good audio with it.